But on the first day, if you're a mouse, that's okay. I think in first year, I was terrified to do anything and I was a little mouse in the corner like, be a fly on the wall and see what's going on. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I found my very first placement and tips and tricks to help you on your very first placement of nursing school here in the UK and let's get started. So I think the main thing I didn't really realise about nursing placement was that you were assigned a mentor and a buddy and these were two people that you were meant to go to for help, support, guidance, all of that. And they were kind of your point of contact while on that placement. And I don't think I realized in first year that you can actually go to them to talk about anything. So if you're having worries or concerns about your placement, you can actually go to them and say, look, I'm feeling this way about placement because this is going on at home. They are there to help you. I'm actually gonna they are there to help you so I think utilizing having a mentor and a buddy is definitely super important. On your first placement you are not expected to know everything and know what to do and deal with every situation. Of course not, you just started, they can't expect you to know everything but what they do expect you to do is just be reactive, have your eyes and ears open and take in any opportunity that comes your way. That's what they're looking for when marking you for first year. It's really all about looking at experiences and taking what you can from them and learning from your mistakes. Obviously really big mistakes are not great but like little ones that one or anything then that is completely fine and of course you're going to make them in first year. I think first year is really really intimidating because as I said you don't really know anything you're going in very blind to your first placement you may have never been in hospital before that could be possible or wherever you're working and then you go into this strange environment with a new full team of people that you've to introduce yourself to and things like that that's actually a good point I would say when you arrive on your first placement introduce yourself to everyone on the team because you'll never know when you may need a healthcare assistance help with something everyone you meet just be super super friendly and kind with them and that will pay off in the future and also it's just nice to be kind so if they say oh hi like who are you kind of not that they will but they might be like oh who's this little person then you can say oh I'm Claire I'm the student nurse here I'll be here for a few weeks and that's all you have to say and then it just puts you at ease because you know the people on the team and they know you sorry there's a fly get out he's gone so yeah I think that's a main point just introduce yourself to everyone there's no harm in being friendly to people they'll really appreciate it and it will do you a really good favor in the future also I would say take every opportunity that comes I think in first year I was terrified to do anything and any opportunity that came my way but in fact opportunity is coming your way for a reason and unless you take it and take the bull by its horns then you are not going to learn from that opportunity that was waiting for you and I think even things like taking people down to x-rays like jump at doing it because you never know what you'll see in x-ray or you never know what the radiographer will tell you and just all stuff like that and I would say also don't worry too much before you go into it. I know it is literally impossible because it's so nerve wracking. And even still, I'm in third year and I get so nervous for placements, but that's okay. Like they expect you to be a bit apprehensive. So if on the first day you feel like you're not yourself, I definitely wasn't. I was a little mouse in the corner, like fully a mouse in the corner. And that's okay and they soon realise that's not who I am and that actually I am quite talkative and I am not a mouse. But on the first day, if you're a mouse, that's okay. I think that lighting might be a bit better now. It's like at that weird stage where the sun's setting and it's like so, so bright. Um, I hope you're all having a really good summer, by the way. Um, I have a week left before going back to my final year of uni and I'm so excited to just really take advantage of every single opportunity so it's not just in first year you should do that it's obviously throughout your whole 
uni experience and just in life in general to be honest. I would also say definitely go to your placement before you start and find out where your award is, find out who your mentor is and what time you start and finish because on your first day you're nervous enough as it is, you don't want to be worrying about how to get there so I would say always I even do it, I did it on my last placement, always do a trial run on how to get there, what time it starts, try and find out who your mentor is, it's not always possible because sometimes they don't have it organised but most of the time they do and yeah find out what time you come home as well, that's always important. I would also think about, I feel like this is a good one to remember, think about how you're going to get home from a night shift and to a night shift because it's easy to get there on day shifts maybe and coming home at 6 or 7 but getting in for 8pm and getting home at 7am just know how you'll get there to and from there as well. I would just say this is a really kind of small one but just show enthusiasm. I think people don't like a really really eager 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 beaver but they like people who are keen to learn, step in, do the job get on with it and just don't really make a fuss and I think that is a really good way to be on placement. Just fit in to the team but still learn a lot and I feel like by fitting into the team that's where you learn the most. Well if you're really like I'm the student I have to get load of, loads of learning opportunities and you keep asking your mentor and you keep saying I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this, they will get annoyed at you and they're, they're just human and they are also really really busy people so they're going to be doing x y and z and if you keep nagging 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 that's going to annoy them so what I would say to do is just try and fit in slid under the carpet and just be a fly on the wall and see what's going on and do things and you hear something and you run with it and you see someone do that and you're just like show me that and I feel like that's a better way to learn. Obviously on placement you're there to learn but you're also there to be marked so make sure you know what your learning opportunities are and the things you have to achieve by the end of that placement. I would always say first ask to observe what the thing is so if that's inserting a female catheter obviously you're not going to go straight in and be like yep yeah, know how to do it when you've never done it before so always ask to observe once or twice see how it's done ask them to walk you through it and then maybe second or third time you'll be able to do it yourself and that's the same for a lot of skills in nursing always ask to observe first and they won't mind that they would rather you ask to observe first and then do it right rather than do it first and get it wrong if that makes sense my advice would be to just get involved and learn as much as you can and that's all what they can expect from you especially in first year placement so if you have any more questions about this topic at all please leave a comment in the description box below and i'll be sure to answer it and if you're new here please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye